Hi, and welcome to the TimeForums.com tutorials. This time, we take a look at Windows networking, how to set up your Windows 10 PC to be a part of a Windows network, and use shared resources. In this example, I have set up a small network, a server with Windows 10, a laptop with Windows 8.1, and two virtual machines, one with Windows 10, and another with Windows 7. The server and Windows 8 laptop have password protected sharing set off, allowing sharing simply by selecting a networked computer. Opening the laptop from server's network view opens the shared folders of the laptop granting access as if they were located on the local computer. The same works the other way around. Opening the server from the laptop allows access to shared resources. Windows 10 Virtual Machine is a fresh, clean install. As the sharing and networking are not yet set up, trying to access it over the network gives an error about network path cannot be found. Opening network on that machine shows the reason. File sharing, by default, turned off. We need to change that. To start it, we need to go to Network and Sharing Center. First thing to check is that Windows 10 Network Location is set to Private. Click Change Advanced Sharing Settings on the left. Under the title Private, check that Network Discovery is turned on and also turn on file and printer sharing. Now open the all network settings and turn on public folder sharing. Finally, set the password protected sharing on or off as you prefer. Now click save changes. To turn media sharing on, go back to advanced sharing settings and open all networks. Click media streaming options and then click turn on media streaming. You can select to block all connections, allow all or only allow selected devices to stream media from this computer. With the Windows 10 Virtual Machine sharing now set, we can access its shared resources from other computers. By default, only the Users folder is shared. On older Windows versions like Windows 7, the setup is slightly different. As in Windows 10, it starts from the Network and Sharing Center. In Windows 7, you can set the network location simply by clicking the location link. For home networking, select Home or Work. They both allow local sharing. Open the advanced sharing settings. Under Home or Work Location Profile, 
check that network discovery is on, that file and printer sharing is on, and that public folder sharing is on. Finally, turn password protected sharing on or off as you prefer and save the changes. Enabling media streaming in Windows 7 is done exactly as in Windows 10. The Windows 7 computer can now see the shared resources on other computers and share its shared resources to them. To make most of networking, you can share additional resources on each computer. Let's now share the ISO images folder on the server so that other computers can access it for software installations. Right click the folder you want to share, select properties, open the sharing tab and click advanced sharing. Select share this folder, give the share a descriptive name. Now click Permissions to change the permissions. By default, everyone can read the shares but not have full control and cannot change them. If you want to grant yourself full control when accessing the shared resource from another computer, add yourself and grant rights. Rights can be set individually for each user. This folder is now shared and can be seen by other computers. Let's repeat the sharing process and share another folder. As you can see, it's quite easy and fast. If you need to access a shared resource on another computer quite often, you can map it as a network drive on your computer. Mapping a network drive creates a shortcut for that resource in this PC in Windows 10 or my computer in Windows 7. Now let's see first how mapping a network drive works in Windows 7. 
Go to My Computer and simply click Map Network Drive. Select the drive identification letter for the mapped drive and browse to its network location. Select if you want to connect to this map drive automatically every time Windows is booted and if you want to connect to it using different user credentials. Click finish to save the drive mapping. The selected network resource is now mapped as a drive in my computer. You can access it simply by clicking it as if it was a local storage drive. When you no longer need direct access to a map network drive, right click it and select disconnect. Mapping a drive has remained the same in Windows 10. Go to this PC, click Map Network Drive and do exactly as we previously did in Windows 7.